Hello and welcome to 15 minutes, well maybe 15 minutes, could be 20, or it could be 10 if I really don't like the game. Um, 15 minutes of Nitro, Crash Nitro Racing. I decided to purchase it yesterday for about £35 because I'm kind of curious what it's all about. I always thought these other racing games were kind of pointless when you have Mario Kart. I mean, why would you get a Switch and buy a kart racing game when you already have Mario Kart? It didn't really make sense to me. So I thought I'd buy one of these other kart racing games to compare it to Mario Kart, see if it's any good. And um, yeah, this is my first time ever playing it. And we are greeted by, <laughs> look at this, <laughs> 42 pages of software license and service agreement as if anyone reads the whole thing do you think there's anyone crazy enough who's actually read every single page unless ex expressly permitted by activision subject to applicable local laws you agree not to permit the software in the peripheral or any part of it to be combined with become incorporated can you imagine reading this but it goes on forever <laughs> yeah let's just press a wait there's another another 28 pages and I actually have to scroll through each page until it lets me go to the next next bit I don't know if this is an old game actually. It might be a really old game, they just ported it to Switch. It won't let me skip this. Kind of annoying. I don't want to watch this, I just want to play this stupid game. Oh my god. It's actually forcing me to watch this. Unbelievable. I hate it when games force you to watch the stupid intro cutscenes and they don't let you skip it. It looks just like Mario Kart. <laughs> Look, <laughs> what is the difference? The only difference is there's no Mario characters. Oh my god, it's actually making me watch the whole thing. Ugh. Terrible game design already. There must be a button that skips this. This one? Oh, I can take a picture of it. What are they even saying? I can't believe they're actually making me watch this. Instead of just starting the game, I don't want to watch two stupid chickens talking to each other. I might have to pause the video because this could go on forever. Okay, I'm going to pause it and then I'll be back when this bloody thing's over. Oh, so it actually finished about a minute later. And we're finally at the main menu. We have Adventure Mode, Local Arcade, Online, Pit Stop, High Schools, Grand Prix. I want to try the online. The whole point of these racing games is to play online, isn't it? Why would I want to play against the computer? I want to play against real people. Otherwise, it's pointless. Hopping right at the top of a ramp or large bump will trigger a trick jump, which will provide a speed boost. Speed boost. Does that sound familiar to Mario Kart? Exactly the same as Mario Kart when you press the right trigger. After a ramp or a jump, it gives you a little boost, doesn't it? Who copied who? The graphics look quite good, though. I think it looks quite nice. Go to lobby. So let's see how many players are playing this game. Oh, that's quite quick, actually. Found people to play with fairly quickly. So it's not a dead game, is it? What if I actually like this more than Mario Kart? That would be funny. Come on, Crash Bandicoot, surprise me. Well, there's only six races, six players. That's not much. 
I have no idea what the controls are. I'm guessing right trigger is accelerate. Look, it's showing that same tooltip. That's the same as Mario Kart, the little jump boost. I wonder if there's weapons. I bet there's bombs, and I bet there's some kind of trap, and I bet there's speed boosts. I don't know if there's drifting. Is drifting a common thing in kart racing games, or is that just Mario? I'm not really a racing game addict, apart from Mario. I don't really play racing games that much. Loading time's a bit slow, isn't it? Oh, this level looks cool. Underwater. It's kind of hard to see the screen with my phone in the way. I'll peek over the top. Okay, R looks behind you. How do I accelerate? Oh, it's... I think it's A. No, it's not A. <laughs> How do I go forwards? Oh, it's B. Well, thank you for telling me. So instead of those floaty question mark cubes, you get those wooden crates. Oh, there's boost ramps. How do you drift? Oh, you can change the camera by pressing the left bumper. Far out and zoomed in. Is there... Oh, you can jump using this one. Now, how do I... How do I brake? Why am I going so slowly? So how do I drift? I don't think there is drifting. I feel like it's moving to the right slightly without me doing anything. Why am I so slow? <laughs> it's that guy lapping me. That guy just lapped me. It looks like he's drifting. How do I drift? What does X do? Oh, it changes the display. I don't understand why I'm so slow. Okay, you have special abilities by pressing A. Oh, I can boost like that. I don't know how. I'm not really impressed so far. Okay, that was a terrible first round. It was my first go. I don't get it. It's so slow, you don't even have to brake around the corners. You just hold down B the whole time. But then it makes that it makes it difficult to hold down B and press A for the abilities. It wasn't great, to be honest. <laughs> it wasn't fast. There was no drifting. The stage was kind of bland and boring. I'm not impressed with my purchase so far. Not impressed at all. And it takes a long time to load. I think I might have wasted my money. Match begins in 56 seconds. I'll pause the video and I'll be back when it's ready. Okay, next stage has finally started. Looks like some kind of sky stage up in the air. I also changed the control so the right bumper is accelerate. That should be better. Oh, look, there is drifting. How'd you do it? Oh! You do a jump, and then you go into the drift. Okay. It's kind of weird though, because you do a little hop. Like that. Do you get a boost? I'm guessing you get a little boost. No? Oh, this feels horrible to control. 
it just doesn't feel good to control. It just feels weird. It's kind of like Mario Kart, but not quite. Oh, I had a missile. Whoops. I can't get the drifting down properly. I don't like the way he does a little hop before the drift. And it turns really tightly when you do a drift. I can't do it. It's so frustrating. And there's no boost. Maybe I'm not doing it for long enough. I can't catch up with anyone. <laughs> I'm right at the back. There's no boost after you drift. That sucks. I don't like this game. It's not good. Just as I expected. It's like Mario Kart, but worse in every way. What is one good thing about this game that Mario Kart doesn't do? And I just got lapped. Great. You don't even have to break around the corners. I really don't see why you'd want to buy this game instead of Mario Kart. And if you already have Mario Kart, you really do not need this game. <sighs> £35 wasted. This video is going to be called First Impressions or Trying Out Crash Bandicoot Racing. I might just title it, Do Not Buy This Game. <laughs> That's what I've realised for myself after playing it for 10 minutes. It's pretty bad. I'll play one more round and then switch it off forever. Delete it. I wish you could get refunds on the Nintendo eStore. You can't. At least on Steam they let you refund it if you've played it for under 2 hours. Well, hopefully I'll make a couple of dollars from this video. As if that will make a difference. And now we have to wait another 50 seconds. Be right back. Third and final round. Tiny Arena. Oh, wow, this looks like a maze. How do I do that jump boost? It said right bumper button, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, it does. So that's how you boost. Why am I so slow? I don't understand. I wonder if you can do that thing where... You know on Mario Kart, if you drive behind someone for long enough, you get a little boost. I'm not sure if you can do that. I keep forgetting which ones drift. 
They should make the jump button and the drift... Well, actually, on Mario Kart, the jump button and the drift button is the same, isn't it? But if you tap it once, then it jumps. And then if you hold it down, it drifts. It doesn't jump, then drift. Like this game does. The special abilities aren't really that fun. There's... I don't know what that was. A homing missile. There's like a missile and then there's the invincibility mask. This game is terrible. Absolutely terrible. I think it is an old game from the PlayStation 2 or 1. Might be wrong, but I have a feeling it's an old game. I never really liked Crash Bandicoot. It was just really frustrating. A very frustrating platformer. There was one Crash Bandicoot party game that I quite liked when I was about 10. I can't remember it very well. I think Mario Kart is all you need. If you want the racing game, just get Mario Kart Deluxe 8. I don't see the point of all the other racing games. Why would you get those? Instead of Mario Kart. Hmm. Very disappointing. I would not recommend this game. I can't think of a single good thing about it. Well, at least I'm not last place. I came seventh. That'll do for today's video. Goodbye.